Hey guys! Um, I know it's been a little bit, a little while since the last time I left a video, so I wanted to leave a, as short as I can a video of some books that I bought since the last time that I made a video. So I'm just going to jump right into it because I have quite a stack of books here. Um, I'm going to go in no particular order and some of the books I've already read so I, I'll do like a short just like what I thought about them. Um, so the first one I have here is called Ireland um, by Frank Delaney um, and I saw this, I bought the, the set savers, I bought a lot of them at savers um, and I've been wanting to read a book about Ireland or you know for a while, um, a nonfiction book, and this sounded really good. Um, it incorporates um, the 1950s Ireland with the past and the history, and incorporates some Irish folk tales into this the novel. So I'm really looking forward to it because um, that's one of my buzzwords. Um, it gets me really excited, you know, folk tales and that being incorporated into fiction. So I'm really excited about this. It's quite thick but um, I can't wait to read it. So, another book I got, um, Summer Sisters by Judy Bloom. I've been wanting to read this book for a while, um, ever since I finished Firefly Lane, which actually was a couple months ago, but um, in high school a lot of the girls read this and loved it. I didn't, I didn't end up reading it in high school, so, um, but I am looking forward to it. It looks kind of similar to Firefly Lane. Um, by Kristen Hanna if you've read it and I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it if you have a best friend in your life. Um, it was just a really, really good chick novel. Um, and I'm not usually into those, but she's my new favorite author. It was recommended to me by my cousins. And I think I put that in my last video. Another one um, is The Fool's Tale. And from the looks of it, this takes place in the Middle Ages um, in Wales. So I'm looking forward to reading this. It's by uh, Nicole. I don't know how to pronounce that, <laughs> but um, it looks good. I guess that's another one of my buzzwords. You know, Middle Ages, kings and queens, and um, rivalry and all that stuff. And it looks like what this book novel is about. So I'm really excited to check it out. Um, another one I've been looking forward to, and I saw it at Savers, it's like, oh my gosh, I gotta get it. Um, it's a nonfiction book, but it looks really good, and I like nonfiction that reads um, kind of like a story, you know, that has like a lot of, I don't know, people to relate to, you know, not just facts and dates and things like that. Um, I like it more like emotional, maybe? I, I really don't know how to explain it. But um, that's what I'm drawn to with nonfiction. And it's called Devil in the White City. Um, and it looks like it's about, um, let me read the back. Bringing Chicago circa 1893, a vivid life, Eric Larson's spellbinding bestseller intertwines the true tale of two men, the brilliant architect behind the legendary 1893 World's Fair, striving to secure America's place in the world, and the cunning serial killer, who used the fair to lure his victims to their death. I mean, that sounds pretty exciting, and it's real life, so, I mean, that kind of makes it even more exciting. So I can't wait to check this out and see how his writing style is. It looks really good. As I said, it's a, it's a bestseller, so, I mean, you can't go wrong checking those out. Um, but if you're not into nonfiction, I definitely think you should check some nonfiction books out. There are a lot of good memoirs out there, a lot of good biographies. I mean, there's also a lot of good boring ones, but I mean, as I continue with this um, video blogging, I'll definitely show you guys some good nonfiction books that you guys should check out for sure, even if you're not into nonfiction, because a lot of memoirs and stuff read like novels. Um, and the cool part about it is, it's real life. So, definitely think you guys should check some of that out. Another one I got, um, Mitch Album. It's uh, called For One More Day. It's a short little book. Um, I read The Five People You Meet in Heaven a couple summers ago, and I really liked his writing style. I like how his books are light, and but they make you think. And I like books that make me think. So, definitely check him out. If you haven't read Five People You Meet in Heaven, definitely should read that because it really makes you think. So I'm looking forward to reading this book. I haven't read his 
other best-selling novel, Tuesday with Morse, um, but I have that as well in my bookshelf. Um, another book I'm currently reading, and I showed you guys this last time, and I feel like I haven't made very much progress, but it's a great novel. It's not because it's not good. It's amazing. It's just so dark and thick. It's just like, oh, I feel like I'm spending all my time reading this novel, so I've been like starting other books while I'm reading this. But um, it's Gone with the Wind. I think I told you guys last time it's like a, over a thousand pages. But it reads really well. The writing style is fabulous. You don't get bored. The characters, the plot moves very fast. Um, and I'm absolutely in love with Scarlett O'Hara, I have to say. As selfish and annoying as she can be, she's amazing. I just, I love her. You really got to check out this classic if you haven't. I know it's a thick read. It might take you a while, but honestly, it's worth it. And I'm about a little close to halfway there. But I love it. Absolutely love it. And I know I'm not going to be disappointed when I finish it. It's just taking me forever. <laughs> um, another book I got, actually two books. I've already read these books, but I plan to read them again. Um, the book, the covers I had for them aren't as exciting when I saw these. They were like eight bucks. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get these. But it's Withering Heights and Jane Eyre. I saw them um, at Barnes and Noble. <laughs> saw them at Barnes and Noble for about eight bucks, and I was really excited. Um, I love the covers. They're just so cool looking. So I was like, I gotta get them. <laughs> so I like them really good another really good classic that they read really well so um, definitely check those out um, I got quite a few more I got the ugly series I read in high school and I figured I'd buy them again I saw them at Savers for a couple bucks unfortunately I had to buy this one at Barnes and Noble and as you can see it's the new cover and not the old cover which I was really disappointed about but I got three of them for like a couple bucks each at Savers including the extras novel. Another Kristen Hanna book, True Colors, about um, three sisters. Not really sure what goes on, but I really like her writing style as well, so you should definitely check her out. These kind of brought me back to the past. Um, I don't know if you guys remember these, if you were younger, The Royal Diaries. Um, I saw them at Savers, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta read them again. and so. I got these. Um, I read this one. I actually want to give a shout out to, I think it was Misty the Book Rat, I want to say, um, who did a show this in one of her book hauls. And I got me excited um, about Fairy Tale Fortnite, which I'm totally going to check out. Um, but this book was pretty good. I didn't absolutely love it, but I love fairy tales and like books about fairy tales, retellings and everything. Um, so I checked it out. I gave it a th three stars. Um, it wasn't what I was expecting, but it was good. So uh, that's all. I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. Happy reading.